more homes on the market interest rates coming down but price per square foot and home prices going up is now the time to buy Hey guys, Special Down XP Realty, part of the Johnson Group out here at Forsyth Park today. I figured I'm gonna do the marketing stats. I wanna make it a little bit more exciting. We got the Forsyth Park in it. Check this out. Love it. Now this is uh, Tuesday. It's Forsyth Park. I love this park. Gosh, so awesome. One of the things I miss about living in Savannah is the Forsyth Park. Uh, my kids love it here. Uh, you got your basketball courts over there, you got tennis courts over here, but of course, this beautiful scenery, parks. A lot of times you'll see in the summertime, uh, on the weekends, they're gonna have like Savannah Adult Rec is out here playing fo ultimate football, volleyball, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's the Savannah Adult Rec, so they do all kinds of stuff here. But um, if you guys get any value from this video uh, on the market stats, Please consider like, sharing, subscribing. Share this video with your family and friends. Maybe they don't know Savannah that well. Maybe they want to see what Forsyth Park looks like. Uh, or maybe they just want to know what the home stats are going for in this area. So we're going to start with the median home sales price in the Savannah area. So in Savannah, median home sales price. Now we're talking about year over year. So we're talking about May 2023 versus May of 2024. And if you're wondering why I do that, the May stats don't come out till June. So they kind of compile them all in one time at the end of the month or beginning of the month, whichever way you want to see it. So the stats for May don't come out till June 1st. That's why we're comparing last year, May to this year, May. So medium home sales prices in Savannah. Last year was 340, this year 370. In Pooler, it was 364,670 last year. This year 335, so down by 8%. Wow. And in Richmond Hill, last year's 412, 30, 412,038 dollars. This year, 459,745. So up by 12 percent. So home prices in Savannah and Richmond Hill are going up. Um, home prices in Pooler came down. So that's fantastic. Next, we're gonna go over new listings. So new listings in Savannah, last year there was 528. This year, 503. So down on new listings. Last year in Pooler, there's 118 new homes on the market. This year, 98. And in Richmond Hill last year is 98. And this year, it is 131. So in uh, Richmond Hill, up by 34%, down by 17% in Pooler, and down by 5% in Savannah. So new listings are coming down in those two areas. Richmond Hill is going up. Um, but I think it's because they had such a low um, amount last year. So I think that's why it's going up. All right, next we're gonna go over homes for sale on the market. Currently, or did I say currently, May of last year and May of this year. So last year, there was 759 homes on the market. This year, 978 homes on the market, up by 29%. Last year in Pooler, there's 149 homes for sale this year. 213 homes for sale, up by 43%. And last year, in Richmond Hills, there's 251 homes for sale. This year, 330, up by 31%. And this could be because high home prices have kept homes on the market longer, which you'll see days on market went up as well. Um, interest rates play a factor in that too. So you gotta keep those things in mind um, when we're talking about homes on the market, okay? As you saw, like I said before, new listings came down, but the homes on the market went up. That's a little weird. All right, so let's go over closed sales now. Last year in May in Savannah, it's 383 homes that's closed. This year, 366 down by 5%. Last year in Pooler, there's 112 homes that closed. This year, 83 down by 26%. And last year in Richmond Hill is 121 homes that closed. This year, 104 down by 14%. So more homes on the market, less sales. It's not a good sign. Hopefully this will bring home prices down if you're a buyer. Hopefully not if you're a seller. So 
uh, just keep those things in mind. That's why I report these numbers. And I want you guys to know, you know, depending on where you're at in the home buying or selling process, well, at least you know what's going on, okay? You're not guessing um, what is actually going on, I'm telling you, <laughs> okay? So now let's go to days on market. Now days on market is gonna be the time you put it on the MLS, the times it sells, okay? So last year in Savannah, May, there's 26 days on the market. This year, 34, up by 31%. In Pooler, it was 38 days last year. This year, 30 days, all right? down by 11%. And last year in Richmond Hill is 38 days on the market. This year, uh, 39 days on the market, so not much change there. All right. Now let's go price per square foot. This is your estimate number I keep telling you guys about. Okay, take this. If you live in the Savannah, Pooler, or Richmond Hill area, you take this number and you multiply it by your square footage, you get you a ballpark. If you want a real answer, give me a call 912-657-3544. I got your back, you know that. All right, here we go. So May of last year, price per square foot in Savannah. Well, this is the median, okay? $207 per square foot. This year, 223 up by 8%. Last year in Pooler is $175 per square foot. This, this year, $189 per square foot, up by 8%. And last year in Richmond Hills, $179 per square foot. This year, $185 per square foot, up by 3%. Now, you know, the home price is going up. As you see, price per square foot going up, so it's indicative that the prices are going up in the area. Um, so just keep those in mind. But interest rates did come down a little bit. Now, I did this is daily, so this is not May. This is like today. And now, the way they figure these out is the national average for people with decent credit, and they're putting out 20%. If you need a real number, I'll hook you up with a, uh, a lender. Just all you do is give me a call. I got plenty of lenders that are local in this area that can definitely help you out. So today, a 30 year fixed conventional loan is uh, 7.04, um, 6.5 for an FHA and 6.52 for a VA. So it came down a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit. But let's check out Forsyth while I'm here. All right, here we go. Okay, so once again, fantastic park. I love it here, it's huge. And then they got this massive playground over here, you know, for all the kiddos, for my kids like to go. But we're just gonna walk over here. And then you see the playground right there is fantastic. There's one right there for the kiddies uh, to do and then you got one over there for the bigger kids. We're gonna go over there, try to avoid getting the kids in here. <laughs> All right, now we're at Forsyth Park, the famous fountain. I uh, love this fountain. They turned this fountain green during St. Patrick's Day which is really cool, they have a whole ceremony here. I think the last time it came for the ceremony, it was raining like crazy. They did it anyway, we were not deterred. Um, also, this is typically where the parade route starts um, for the parade, so for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Typically start here, I remember when I was in a soldier at Hunter Army Airfield, I had to come here to get ready at like four o'clock in the morning so that we could March in the parade. Um, parade's super cool um, and fun. But you gotta get there early because uh, seats along the route, they go quick. So now we're gonna go over to this restaurant. It's not, I wouldn't say it's super new. Let's say it's not been here the entire time I've been here. <laughs> I've ate here um, before. Really cool. We're gonna walk over there, um, and then I'm gonna show you around a little bit in there. Okay. All right. Now we're at Collins Quarters. Um, I'm gonna give you a shot of the menu real quick so you can see it. 
Um, but super cool. I've had, I've ate here before. Um, that's basically your menu right there. But yeah, pretty cool. So that was this month's stats. You know, I hope you guys got a lot of value from this. Once again, if you got any value from this, share this with your friends. Let them know what the market's doing. Show them Sword Scythe Park. Super awesome. Of course, it said rain as soon as I get here. Of course. But um, I think you pretty much saw everything. And uh, once again, if you guys have any questions about any homes in the Savannah area, you can give me a call at 912-657-3544. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.